Well, just when you think that the PS Vita knife couldn't get any more twisted, it does. Not 100% sure where I was going with that, but I was going with it somewhere. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James, you know, that weird guy that brings you PS Vita content on YouTube? And if you are a fan of said handheld, then don't forget to subscribe. And I'd love to hear your opinion on this topic down in the comments section, because this is going to bring on some sizzle. Well, we've got some interesting news from the land of Sony this week, and it would appear that they are somewhat getting more into game preservation for or legacy titles, at least to a point. Prepare to see this meme a lot throughout the video. Wait, is that even a meme? Something that we as PS Vita fans have been trying to convince Sony to do for the longest time. And when I heard this, I got very excited. Did my enthusiasm remain high? Well, let's find out. Although you've no doubt already read the title and thumbnail, but let's continue. And the following bit of information comes directly from the source at PlayStation.blog. So I'm sure only good things can be coming. Using air quotes as I say that. They announced all new PlayStation Plus launches in June with 700 games and more value than ever. Sounds pretty enticing, let's continue. PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now come together. Players can choose from three flexible options. And as you probably have no doubt noticed, uh, Jim Ryan is in this, oh uh, gosh. What are we in for? Let's continue. Since launching PlayStation Plus in 2010, SIE has been at the forefront of innovation with game subscription services. We were thrilled to be the first console member service that included a refreshed library of games through PlayStation Plus, and also launched the first console game streaming service with PlayStation Now. Today, we are pleased to share with you official news about changes coming to our subscription service. This June, we're bringing together PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now in an all-new PlayStation Plus subscription service that provides more choices to customers across three membership tiers globally. Our focus is on providing high-quality, current content with a diverse portfolio of games, in other words, legacy titles, and my enthusiasm continues to build. And I'm sure it's gonna remain. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Below is an overview of the three membership tiers. All right, so Sony is finally hopping on the legacy platform bandwagon uh, to a point. So I'll just read this for you all very briefly. The benefits for the first tier, which is called PlayStation Plus Essentials, provides the same benefits that PlayStation Plus members are getting today, such as two monthly downloadable games, exclusive discounts, cloud storage for saved games, online multiplayer access, and yeah, there's basically no changes to what you previously had if you were already with PlayStation Plus. So I guess in a nutshell, we would call that the vanilla tier or the nothing has changed tier or maybe a yeah, you get the idea. And here are all the price listings for that particular tier. In all its vanilla-ness. Now, here's the second tier, and what's new, PlayStation Plus Extra. Provides all the benefits from the essential tier, but also adds a catalog of up to 400 of the most enjoyable PS4 and PS5 games. Wait a sec, no Vita? Okay, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. There's still one more tier to go, including blockbuster hits from our PlayStation Studio catalog and third-party partners. Games in the extra tier are downloadable for play. And there, of course, are the price settings depending on where you live and how long you want to have it for. But now we come to the big one, PlayStation Plus Premium, and this is where I got really excited. Then, well, let's continue. With this, it provides all the benefits from the essential and extras tier, but adds up to 340 additional games including PlayStation 3 games available via cloud streaming. Wait, no downloads though? Huh. A catalog of beloved classic games available in both streaming and download options from the original PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and PSP generation. Offers cloud streaming access for original PlayStation, PS2, PSP, and PS4 games offered in the extra and premium tiers in the markets. Where PlayStation Now is currently available, customers can stream games using PS4 and PS5 controllers and PC. Time-limited game trials will also be offered in this tier, so customers can try select games before they buy. And once again, and here's all of the price listings for that particular tier. So, we here at PS Vita at 2 a.m. are a PS Vita channel. At least I think, unless the title's been lying to me all this time. So what did you all notice was not included in this list of goodies? Yep, the PlayStation Vita. Unsurprising, am I right? In fact, when I really look back on it now, it's the only major mainstream system from Sony that is not included at all on this list. And I get it, the PS Vita's more earlier titles that a lot of people would, in fact, want, rely more on the gimmicky features of the handheld. Now, of course, tweaks could be done to them to make them compatible with some of the more present systems out there, but I guess Sony just didn't want to do that. But hey, there's still a lot of third-party exclusive PS Vita games out there that Sony
Sony could easily bring over, but I guess they just didn't want to do that either. And when it comes to the PlayStation 3, Modern Vintage Gamer said this beautifully. Emulation of PS3 is absolutely possible on PlayStation 5 hardware. Sony has never been interested in investing the millions to make it happen, however. And I feel it's the same way with the PS Vita here. It's something they probably could do, but just didn't want to go through the hassle. Oh, but hang on to your butts because it gets even better? This comes directly from Sony once again. Important information for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita owners. When the new PlayStation Plus service launches, you won't be able to buy a new subscription directly from your PlayStation 3 or PS Vita. You will still be able to buy a subscription using a desktop or mobile device or a PS4 or PS5 console. If you remain subscribed, any PS3 and PS Vita benefits, such as previously redeemed monthly games, will continue to be accessible. Wait, wait. Did I just hear that right? Or read that right? So this is a little bit of a double-edged sword here in my personal opinion. Okay, so we're not going to be able to buy the service directly on the PS3 or PS Vita. That's bad. But you have so many other options, I don't really see it as a big deal. But on the plus side, they have stated that any remaining PS3 or PS Vita benefits, you'll still be able to have access to when this new PlayStation Plus service rolls around. And that's very, very surprising to see Sony do. Now in my mind, personally, I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, maybe this is a sign that Sony is actually planning to keep these legacy stores open for a much longer period of time than we originally thought, since you'll still be able to access those benefits. Now, if they would have said you would have been no longer be able to access them, then that would make me think, oh gosh, are we going to be getting more and more closer to its closure, and thus make me want to commit Hanakiri? I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit too optimistic on this, but that's my personal opinion. And speaking of which, guys, I would love to know what's your opinion on this whole situation. It took many twists and turns through this video, I'll admit, but are you disappointed the PlayStation Vita games aren't going to be included in this new service and thus we won't be able to play them on newer Sony platforms? Or are you going to be kind of like me and just say, well, eh, I guess I'll just be sticking with my PS Vita then, which is something I probably was going to do anyway, but yeah. Anyway, thoughts, opinions, all that good stuff down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a big thank you goes out to Michael O'Connor, H Hitter, Jelly, Joseph Shavak, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdall Imbert, Gutter Drums, Rodrigo Vera, Crazy Cat, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, VG Legends, Claymore Malarkey, BMF, Skull Shirtugal TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Silica, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, Sabin Fire, Chris Foxhound, Franz Hartl, Aridri, No Good, Lacerated 87, Jamie, Hector Gonzalez, Kayonko, Burrs and Mystery, Juan M. Hermosillo, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Matt Hargett, Buzz Saiyan, Rizal Pliskin, Dr. Super Artie, Ricardo Martinez, Donut Valley, Nintendo Switch at 2 AM, Azumara, 1488 Dental, Miss Sugar 360, Shin Snake, Alan Iwazu, Zacrito, Air Kick 72, McKees Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Neorashi, Milk Sama, and Bushin Ryu Cat. And a special thank you to Jun Chen for the recent PayPal donation. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from Play Asia and Amazon for anyone who is interested in purchasing some something from their website. All you gotta do is use one of those links just to access their site. Then whatever you buy after that, a small commission will go to help support this content. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to end this video on a more positive note here. Uh, let's see, um... Well, I guess at least we'll be able to still play PSP games. I know that's something a lot of Vita fans have been wanting also, so... Yeah, there's that. But you're making it harder and harder for me to keep up this enthusiasm, Sony.